Well, finally got my loser unloaded. <laughs> we started unloading the truck and then me and Highway, uh, well, first up, uh, we stopped in uh, Winchester, Virginia for a few hours and Sharon and them came up here and got everything situated with the house and everything and then um, she called us and had us drive the truck up here which is 30 miles from Winchester to here in Martinsburg and uh, we just got the truck here about an hour ago a little less than an hour ago and we started unloading well me and Highway haven't eaten anything and we're living on about three hours of sleep which I, I don't even know how Sharon and um, Mandy are doing it because I mean, they had like small naps in the car. I drove 20 hours straight, but still it's like, I don't know how any of us are doing this. We need more help. <laughs> I wish I had friends here who could help, but I'm headed to go get us some food. It is two o'clock Eastern time right now here. I just hope, and it's, I, I woke up to it raining at noon and a tornado warning a little bit south of me. And so it was the, a touchdown in Culpeper, Col I think that's the name of the town. So, yeah. And of course, I wake up also to a freaking, because uh, I had the news on in the hotel, also seeing that it's torrential flooding in Virginia. I'm like, I am in Virginia and it's not flooding. Oh, I originally turned on this camera for. I got in my car and I feel like I am way too fucking low to the ground now. Like I am like sitting on the floor shit. <laughs> this ain't normal. Daddy, I need a lift, please. So, it's almost 6 p.m. tonight, and we had the truck almost half unpacked. Um, they told Sharon when she signed the papers this morning, no noise after dusk. So, that seems a little ridiculous. Normally it's like 10. So, but we're going to keep trying to unpack this truck as much as we can before the sun goes away. We are almost to the front of the truck. We're not allowed to make noise outside after dark. So, we had to stop, because obviously it's dark. But, to give you an idea of how life looks right now, this one actually I think is pretty much a storage room. This is the one we have to rearrange to get the bed on this floor. She even put up tags for us so we knew which room was room. And it's been raining. It rained this morning. And it's raining again. Huh? Just make it short. <laughs> make it short. I'm not going to put it together. I'm not going to put it together. All I know, I know is I picked up. it up and it came apart. This is the kitchen. If you can see it through all the crazy boxes. We're going to get our clothes with the dryer too, babe. Take And this is Sharon's room. The uh, master bath is over there. And then we walk this way. Over here. I feel like this house is like really small to me. Over here is the laundry. And she has a backyard with two sheds. She's not allowed to make noise after dark. And she's not allowed to do a lot of shit. And uh, she can't have trailers. And there's so many different things. It's ridiculous. Yeah, he tried to pick up the table from over there and walk it into the door, knowing, knowing darn tootin' well it wasn't gonna fit through it. Um, okay, so this is something we still haven't showed her yet. On the keys for the truck, it states, if, do not kick truck if you lose keys. Today, Sharon tried to lose the keys and I told her she wasn't allowed to kick the truck. What is that, the circulation for the outside? What, you got vents in your doors? No, it's just the circulation to your circuit. Exactly, door. you have vents in your doors, so then it right. goes from room to room. Yeah. That's good. 